those gentlemen and monsters of all ages, I swear the list of activities available in this game is practically never ending. Sure, there is the main stuff, the hunting the monsters, and even the really big side stuff like the endemic life, which now has small and large gold crowns, and honestly that scares the living shit out of me. So today, in continuation with avoiding the hell out of that mechanic, we'll be going on a field trip. A trip on which we will be exploring, explaining, and 100% completing the feline researcher requests. The new system built around the surveyor set, which if I'm completely honest, I think is just a camera. You underestimate my power! That's right, today I'll be walking you through each of the 20 requests from the feline researcher, which will net you some nice little rewards along the way, as well as a nifty achievement for doing all of them at the end. First up then, the basic controls of the surveyor set. Pretend you're basically in first person, you have full range of motion, and you're able to just walk around and get correct angles. Your right bumper on your controller just takes a picture. The triggers zoom in and out, and circle button for PS4 and B for Xbox will open up your request menu so you can look at it on the go, and then the X button for PS4 or A for Xbox users will put the item away. As for the mechanic itself, each request has three conditions, and meeting each condition brings you another reward level. Up to, of course, three stars at the top level. Surprise, motherfucker! If you take a picture that only meets one of the three conditions, it will be a one-star completion and only get partial rewards. However, if your only goal with this activity is the achievement itself, you only technically need to get one star for each request. So, decide how carefully you want to follow this guide based on what you want to get out of the activity. Each region has three or four requests, and the final request for each region requires you to have completed all the others first. Though that said, the majority of these can be completed on the same expedition as one another, which really expedites the whole process. The first region, then, where you will find your first four pictures is the Ancient Forest. Request number one requires you to go up to the Bug Trapper Lair in Area 17, where you need to just watch the idle animations until you catch one sniffing. Take a nice, frontal, well-zoomed-in picture, and bang, there you go, one down, three stars. Excellent! <laughs> While you're here, make sure your Palico makes a nice Tail Raider friend in the form of a Bug Trapper to bring with you, as he will prove very useful in the battles to come. For request number two, you'll have to go to the northern area of Area 6, climb this tree root, and follow it around to the left until you see Grimmelkind markings. If you look to the right a little bit onto a further tree, you'll see a small group of felines just having a nice day. Watch them and focus on the furthest left one. Eventually, he'll decide he's fed up of all this lollygagging and start ordering his team to move out. What you are looking for here is a perfect photo of said leader issuing said orders, which will result in a perfect 3 out of 3 stars. Now remember that friend I told you to make back up in the lair? Bring him on down to Area 1 and have a nice relaxing time in this tiny pool, and you'll see your newfound friend hop up in a tiny little leaf boat. Bitch, don't tell me what to do! As he battles along to keep up with you, snap yourself a nice little shot of this guy sitting on the boat for perfect completed request number 3. Hand these pictures into the Linnean Researcher at the base to unlock request number 4, which is a very slight amount more complex as you need to go on an ancient forest expedition, specifically when it's raining, which if done correctly will put a little symbol on your map telling you where to go. For this one, you will either be brought to zone 4, where it is quite straightforward, or zone 6, where you'll have to climb up this northern tree a little bit again to get a nice angle on the drama in front of you, because these cats are having some serious relationship problems. Cat A is out here minding her own business, what is hell from the rain, when Cat B saunters out like a hero with a leaf. Cat C then comes in from the left and straight up steals Cat A, who leaves leaves with him. Don't be fooled though, none of this is the picture that you want for three stars, as this thing really plays out when Cat D shows up, wandering under Cat B's umbrella with a cute little flower on her head, cuddling up next to him and making everything alright. <laughs> And this nice, wholesome shot of the two of them is exactly the shot you're looking for for three stars on request number four. If you then head out to Camp 15 in the Wildspire Wastes and take this quick little path to the Shield Bearer Lair, you'll find a nice group of felines going through their idle animations once again. The animation you are looking for here, however, is when they sit down and scratch at their ears. Same normal rules, frontal shot, nicely zoomed, three stars. If you're lucky while you were doing that, your cat picked up a brand new Tail Raider friend here, who you can bring back to the camp with you. Once at your camp, any camp at all, walk over to where your Palico and Tail Raider are standing around. Pull out your surveyor set and wait for your Palico to start digging around in his bag of goodies. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? At the end of his animation, the Tail Raider will be straight up flabbergasted, completely bamboozled, and undeniably surprised. This facial expression is exactly the moment that you are trying to capture. Once ending in these two requests, you'll unlock request number seven, which requires you to go to the Wildspire Waste, specifically during 
during the day, which isn't particularly hard. If done correctly, like request number four, you'll get a marker on your map in either zone six or zone nine. Mine was in zone six, just at the northern end. And if you have a look at the palicos that are there, you'll notice, oh uh, well. little guys take no breaks. Seriously. Unlike most requests, your targets don't need to be facing forwards. However, you do need to capture both of them. And even more importantly, if you want to get three stars, you need to make sure that you time your picture during the sword clashing animation, which seals off all of the requests for map number two. Moving on to the Coral Highlands with request number eight, Hello there. which is very aptly named, head to the trooper's lair in zone 15. Take out your totally not a camera and wait until two of them wave at each other with their weapons. Grab a nice picture of that and there you go. Then if you head out to the Coral Highlands during totally clear weather, you should get a little Grimmelkind surveyor symbol around the map. For me, it was up in area eight, back behind the coral next to the rope lift, though it can also be in area three. And for a three-star shot, you just need to catch the cat riding the Shamos from a frontal angle, which is really not a hard ask by any means. Hand these two requests in and head back to the Coral Highlands, specifically at night, for the final request of the area, which will spawn another Grimmelkind surveyor symbol on your map. This one can spawn in area three, nine, or 12, just follow your symbol and you'll find a couple felines jamming out like all hell. Get yourself a nice frontal picture during the completion portion of the animation and, as you might expect, a fucking vest void will paralyze you! But thankfully, we are in possession of a top-notch palico who has been completely trained for- after this, head to the Rotten Vale, specifically Area 15, and, wait for it, do request number 12 before number 11. Head to the back of the zone, behind the Paw Swap cats, and zoom in as much as you physically can on this cat playing around with his plunder blade. Snap a nice picture of him while he's messing around with it, and job's a good un. Turn around and immediately grab yourself a Tail Raider, then be the biggest dick imaginable, and drag that cat to Area 9 into the effluvium, where you want to take a picture of him while he is coughing, for a perfect completion of request number 11. Next, there should be a Grimmelkind Vine Trap in either Zone 1, 8, or 9. Bring a monster of any kind over to it, mount it, and the Grimmelkind should do their thing. And this one can be a little bit tricky if you don't know the right angle, but if you want three stars, then absolutely bolt it back behind your feline friends to get a nice back angle for all of your stars and a very cinematic capture sequence. Hand these in and then get your Expedition Refreshing Gloves on, because in order to get request number 14, not only do you need it to be night, but there also needs to be Acid Rain in the Rotten Vale. So, you know, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hold on to your butts. Once under these conditions, head down to the acid pools of Area 12 and 15, in one of which you will have a Grimmelkind surveyor symbol where you can watch a friendly little plunderer doing his best to get by in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Or a, a cat-eat-fish in an acid pool world. And while you can see him miss fish and even catch a number of small fish, what we are here to capture is the finale. The real catch. We want to see him reel in a big one, boys! By which I mean we want to take a picture that makes it look like he caught the big one, rather than, uh, uh, well, not so much doing that. He's okay, though, don't worry. The researcher tells us afterwards that he did make it back to shore in one piece, so you really don't need to worry about him. Next, moving on to the Elder's Recess, head to the Gajalaka Caves, just off of the Nergigante Nest to the left. The request is for a picture of a Gajalaka dancing, which is such a rare thing. Oh, by the way, I was being sarcastic. Find any of them dancing, they all do it very frequently. Snap a shot, hopefully have your palico pick up a tail raider on the way, and head out for probably the weirdest one so far. Request number 16 requires you to catch a Tail Raider Gajalaka in the act of throwing a Mielotov cocktail at a monster. So get yourself a nice tanky build, start a fight, put on Rocksteady Mantle, and hope to the gods above that the Gajalaka you got does this attack before you die. If somehow he does manage it, you just need any sort of picture of him in the animation, and you'll survive long enough to hand these babies in and unlock request number 17. For this, just head to the Elder's Recess and look for that good old Gajalaka Surveyor symbol in either Area 1, 8, or 11, and use your sick superhuman reflexes to grab a sick zoomed-in picture of a Gajalaka using a sick wind drake as a mode of transportation. Just look at a little hunter. Don't worry about getting the Parnos in the frame, just make sure the Gajalaka isn't facing away from you and you've got a great little photo. Then off we go to the final map! And this is one where you just need to look for a symbol on your map in Area 2 or 7. And follow said symbol to find your prize of a boa boa riding a popo that looks like the 
Popo just got a big nappy ump with eyes and I love this. And after you finish nerding out over the cuteness, open your map and look for the Boa Boa Harpoon Trap in either zone 6, 11, or 14. It's a trap! And bring your little buddies some monster booty. Meaning get yourself a monster, bring them over and engage combat and let the felines get on their way. During which you need to get yourself a picture of the leader of the Boa Boa ordering the attack. There is limited time to get the picture you need, but it is still a fairly easy shot to get. Finally then, once you hand in those, you can move on to your final target and oh how goddamn worthy this one is of being the finale. First up, engage your waiting gears as you need to reset until you can find the Horfrost Reach during a blizzard at night, and then get yourself onto the map. Look for the Boa Boa Surveyor symbol on your map in Area 2 or 17, which is the Boa Boa home. Go up to the Boa Boa and witness the glory that is request number 20. A Boa Boa stripped of his cloak in the nude, having a sexy little swim. I mean, not to objectify this feline at all, but that coat of white fur is just making me want to stop it get some help avoid getting anywhere close to him as you can easily spook him and make him go running and just use your camera zoom to get a nice full frontal shot for the linean researcher and with that handed in ladies and gentlemen you'll have yourselves the achievement outstanding observer currently only held by 1.8 percent of the player base so you know it's it's pretty rare all right everyone i've been cotton dinosaur and this has been your complete guide to the surveyor set and the linean researcher requests activity did you enjoy seeing another view of the life of a feline do you wish that we had more mechanics like this like if you liked the video subscribe to the notification bell for more and most importantly ladies and gentlemen until next time stay sweet this is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love so let's start with something simple and say oh we love your eyes when they're watching us play video games when we make a bunch of jokes that are kind of lame or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important important news about the kingdom of Amelia. rage cotton and hollow are all here talking about the things you want to hear so if you want to be the first to hear like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer some of you are patrons even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros there's nothing we can do to thank you no really there's nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.